time. Off the mark, Rodriguez yanks down the rebound. And it's taken away. Numbers for George Mason. Long down the lane. it all the way. What a shot from the front for Luke Hancock. The Patriots by two. Rodriguez in deep. There he is. Nixon for three. Morrison gets the rebound. Sends it to Law. To Pearson. And he's fouled. for Burgess. This is everything Burks on, has it? And that will do it. George Mason rallies now 15 points, second out Jefferson to defeat VCU by five. All right, welcome back to your courtside at the Patriots Center in Fairfax, Virginia. This is the Farm Bureau Insurance post-game show. The Patriots got out in 82-77 overtime victory over VCU. Before we get to the final numbers, we are pleased to be joined by the sophomore of the Patriots, Mike Morrison. 18 points and 10 rebounds, a double-double in this ball game in 32 minutes of play. And, uh, Mike, it's got to feel good because the last time you faced these guys, including Larry Sanders, he yanked down 20 rebounds on you. You got him tonight. He had a pretty good game, 13 points, but only four rebounds and none in the first half. He got them all in the second half. Yeah, I mean, he's a great player. Just trying to guard him the best we can, trying to keep it out of his hands and keep him off the board. It's a very difficult task, but um, we did a pretty good job tonight. Tell me about the play in the first half. Uh, you, 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 you catch the ball in front of the basket. You turn around, you literally just try to dunk on him. Yeah. And, I mean, <laughs> you tried to dunk on him. How much do you think that play set the tone for the remainder of the evening? Um, just got my mind focused to just go hard because, um, really, I wasn't um, – I didn't feel like I was really involved with the offense and wasn't really helping my team. So, that sort of got me going. I, I was speaking about to Bill and Coach Caputo. You know, you understood, okay, l last year you were a freshman. You, you played VCU, okay. You're still learning. You, you understand the rope trying to find your niche. This year, you understand exactly what it takes to win the games. You know what you've got to bring to the forefront. As this game kind of approached, how much was it on your mind that you were facing one of the best players in the country? Um, I mean, he's going to the NBA next year. He, <laughs> you know this already? He's, all, he's already declared now, Mike? Is that breaking news? You know something I'm, we don't? I'm declaring for him. Six and seven. <laughs> you know, seven, seven wings, man. He's, just a, he's a great player. So, really, I was just focused. I was focused a long time. Um, just trying to play hard up leading up to this game and all the games and really focusing in against him right now just to get just to get ready for him because he's a great player. You guys were down 13, I think 41-28 at halftime. Yeah. And, and we were a little concerned, okay, is this starting to slip away? Or what is it going to take to, to get you guys, guys back involved in this game, get you back in a position where you could possibly win it? What was the difference in the se between the first half and the second half? You guys came out the second half with a renewed spirit. Well, um, one, first we had to get settled. We had nine first half turnovers, I think, and um, – it was not. Yeah, we were just weren't settled at all. We were throwing it away. It wasn't necessarily the pressure. It was just us not executing how we wanted to, a little jittery. So we calmed down, and Coach always says, just be focused and get a good start at the beginning of the half. So we didn't do it right away. I think they scored the first four points or something like that, but then we just got it going, energy. You had, a, again, a nice night, 18 and 10, a career high in points in 18. Uh, but talk about the junior, Cam Long. He didn't have a great shooting night, just 4 of 13, but 9 of 10 from the free throw line and two huge ones with 4.3 to go. When he stepped up there, any doubt in your mind they were going down? Man, there's no way that ball's going out the rim. Like, there's no <laughs> way he's going to miss it. Like, he's, he is our leader, and 
I know he's going to step up in big times. We even joke around the practice and say, hey, if we're down to the end, just, just give it a cam. It just hit the three. It doesn't matter. You know? <laughs> so there was no doubt that he was going to he was gonna come through in the clutch for us today. This seemed, this seemed like today one of the more, albeit, you know, I, I think the snow probably affected some of the attendance. Mm-hmm. This seemed like one of the more electric games that we've seen in the Patriots Center. And you guys really seem to get behind the support that the wanna, fans were showing. I want to give it up to our uh, Mason students, man, because they knew that the weather was affecting the alumni and all the other fans, and they came out strong. Both sides filled to the top. I'm going to give it up to the Mason students for coming out here and showing the support they yeah, did. Yeah, new record student attendance tonight, new 2,092 record. students packed yes. this place for you. 2,092 students. That's a lot of students to come to a basketball game. You got right? that many in your Facebook, though. You just got to send a shout out to them. <laughs> I don't have that many Facebook friends. That's, that's the crazy part. Like. You know what? If you keep playing like you're playing, <laughs> you have a lot more than that. That's going to change. Man. That is going to change. Yeah. I mean, I, as, I, as I said to Bill, you know, midway through the second, uh, second half, I, you know, you really were bringing a lot for your team today to be able to to know that you were coming into this game. You know, whether you admit it or not, Leia Sanders, just one of the best players in the country. Mm-hmm. Uh, you talk about his wingspan. A couple times the ball was lobbed over the top. He turned around. It looked yeah. like he didn't even jump, and mm-hmm. he dunked it. You know, I said to Bill, I said, I'm not sure how much taller he is than you, but you're standing yeah. beside him. Mm-hmm. You can speak to him better than I can. Yeah, like we already know that he is very tall, very long. I think he's 6'11". I'm 6'9 or so, and we, even, we know how long he is. Last year in the championship, he dunked it with one hand, and his foot was on the ground still. So it was just like we knew. Once he caught it right there, it was just, it's going it's to be but hard. But that, that didn't seem to affect your decision yeah. when you decided to dunk on him, though. Oh, yeah, I tried to. I tried to get him back. <laughs> <laughs> he sort of got me a little bit in the first half. He got me a little bit. So we just try to keep him away from the rim because – his only, once he gets there, it's, it's just he just stretches, stretch on strong. Mike, I tell you, it's pleasing to watch your, your maturation. I mean, it seems like every single game you're getting better and better. In front of the bench here a couple times, I could literally hear you screaming for the basketball. When you did, you seemed to be confident in knowing, okay, I'm going to fake baseline. I'm coming back strong hand with my left hand, dropping it into the basket, and you did. And, and, and on top of that, you were, you know, some, dis- some displays of emotion there as well. Yeah, I mean, just one, just coming in and working on my game, just trying to get more comfortable with the ball. And then emotion that comes naturally, man. That's hard. I got to try to keep it down when I got to get it up. Cause I almost, That's where the foul came from. Because oh, you, you, made, you made a good play down here, and I think maybe it was uh, – it may have been Skeen, I believe. He, he posted you. Sanders, at, actually Sanders. He had, Sanders. He, had Japan, he had Japan, and you yeah. tried to pull him around. I think that may have been your fourth foul. Yeah, it was. Try but again, around those things don't hurt because if you're playing like that, you deserve to show that type of emotion. Yeah, got to play hard. Got to – Give my team energy. That's what I try to do. Well, you got another tough matchup coming up Saturday against Old Dominion. Gerald Lee, a preseason uh, player of the year pick mm-hmm. in the conference. You guys got him up here the last time, so mm-hmm. they're going to be ready for you when you guys show up in Norfolk on Saturday. Yeah, they're definitely – they haven't forgotten the loss here that they had. We came out. We um, had a great second half, and we – I want to say we blew them out, but we extended the lead. So they definitely haven't forget, and they have a great home crowd. So we know we got to come ready, focus to play, and be as one, be one unit. Don't let nobody break us apart. We'll All right, Mike. Well, uh, be safe out there in the snow tonight. We appreciate you stopping by. Appreciate Congratulations it. on the if big you, win. If you try to dunk on me like that, I would knock you down. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do. You're going to get a half out, man. <laughs> and a nice uh, night career high in points for you, Mike. So congratulations Excellent on that. Excellent game. And the Excellent win. game. Thank you. All right, Mike Morrison, join us here courtside. Job, we'll continue on here with the uh, Farm Bureau Insurance post-game show. And as we do, I will uh, turn to my partner, Rick Wilson, and say, it's time for our Virginia Lottery Player of the Game. Virginia Lottery, more than $3 billion to K-12 public education since 1999. You got a lot of guys to choose yeah, from, including the guy that just from, joined us. But who's your pick tonight? Mike Morrison, 18-10. and 10, Cam Long, 19-5-5. Five and five. Lewis Birdsong getting the start tonight. And key points down the stretch, 13-5. and five. Where's the pick go for I'll tell you, the Wilson? biggest challenge to me uh, prior to the contest, you know, it's like you got to have a win somewhere. You can almost expect that. You know, Cam Long's going to bring it. He's been playing fantastic basketball this season. But I, I think the scary part, which uh, you, you didn't know which way that kind of pendulum would, would flow, was whether Larry Sanders would just have a, a ridiculous game and, and Mike Morrison wouldn't be there to combat that. Or you get what you got today. Mike Morrison stepped it up. Uh, you know, he just joined us here, obviously, for post game. 8 of 10 from the field, 10 rebounds. Uh, Sanders fouled out of the game. Morrison continued to play before getting his fifth, 18 points in the contest. But, I mean, what I just can't imagine what it would feel like, you know, knowing that you're stepping into an arena and you're playing against this guy. Yeah. And as as you heard from Morrison, the utmost respect that he has for Larry Sanders, but I think that that player of the game, Mike Morrison. <laughs> um, that's going to do it for our broadcast tonight. A wild one here in Fairfax. Thanks to everybody involved in it. Our on-site engineer, Jeff Obeer, my partner, Rick Wilson, back in the studio, Tim Murray. Tim, be safe driving home. We're sorry that it went to overtime. I know Tim was, said, can we do a yeah, quick game because i got to get yeah. home. So I apologize for the overtime, Tim, but thanks for hanging out and keeping us going. One final time from Fairfax at the Patriot Center. George Mason in overtime gets the victory over Virginia Commonwealth. Your final 82-77. to I'm Bill Rowland. You've been listening to George Mason Basketball on the Lepler Sports Radio Network.